this week's Zenith Team Spotlight, we're continue to focus on the Mercer County Titans. Uh, mm -hmm. We're going to be joined today by Braden Dunn from the Mercer County Titans team. He is a uh, running back, linebacker, punt returner, everything. Um, I watched a little bit of your your film there. You're pretty elusive, you know, catching punts. You know, you had some last game, you had some really good returns. You had some great plays uh, defensively at the linebacker position, going sideline to sideline. And running the ball, you seem pretty strong and elusive. And when you get out into the open field, you can break some tackles. Welcome uh, to the Zenith Team Spotlight, Braden. Thank you. So how, how you doing? How, how's the season going? Good. Um... You know, with COVID, it's a little bit weird. I hear six feet apart, like every minute. So, uh, we spoke with your with your head coach, Coach uh, Buchanan. And he, you know, that's something that he, you know, really pushed. You know, said it was definitely a different a different season with COVID and everything. But um, you're entering you're in your junior season. You guys are having a successful season. Um, what does being a Titan mean to you? Uh, well, for one, my family's always played here. I got family members that play for Harrisburg and Mercer, so um, that means a lot to me. But also, just the it's a family. Me and the guys in the locker room is family. Uh, I play with the majority of them since little league, so we just got a brotherhood, a built-in brotherhood throughout the football team. Right, right, and exactly. And you know, you mentioned that word family, and you know that. That's huge when it comes to football. Um, that team camaraderie is is absolutely huge. And with the way that 2020 shaped out with the whole COVID situation, you guys can't be as close as family, you know, in the locker room, you know, going to each other's houses and stuff. How have you guys adjusted to that this season? Just when we're in practice or in the game, we just give it whatever we got, uh, enjoying it while we have it, because we know that every game could potentially be our last because we could get shut down. But just playing like – playing with everything we got in practice and game just whenever we can. And what are some, uh, you know, team building activities and what do you guys like to do as a team? Uh, normally, Coach B would have us with – he calls it Titan time. And that would we did that. It's just like talking amongst each other. That was pre-COVID. During COVID, let's see, we ain't really got to do much. All right, so jump in it. So you're playing both running back and linebacker. Which position do you like the best? I gotta say running back. Running back. Running back. Why? I don't know, because on defense, I've played everywhere. I've played inside, I've played outside, I've played safety. I've just always played running back like my whole life. So, do you love football? Yes, I love football. When I was younger, growing up, I played football, basketball, and baseball, and they're equal. So it's like, as I've gotten older, I've realized that I really do love football, and it's way above any of the other sports. It's a natural. It's a. It's the ultimate team game. I think football is because for five seconds, it takes. 11 guys to do exactly their assignment, you know, to make one play work for five seconds. You know, that's right. the ultimate team game right there. Um, so speaking of team and your teammates, how do your teammates make practice fun? Cause I'm just, you know, practice can be a lull at times. Um, you guys are on a roll right now. You know, you won the last six games, you know, that you've played. Things can get a little dull at times. So how do your teammates make it fun? We just compete. And like I said, we're close. All of us pretty much are close. So any chance we get in practice, you know, talk a little trash or compete throughout practice, is, it's just fun. We all love to compete, and when we compete against each other, it's just great. All right. And um, you said that you love you love football. You like playing a running back position best. Who do you emulate your game after? I don't think I've ever really thought about that. I've just played. I mean – I guess my dad, I've always wanted to be better than him. So, yeah, that's always been my goal. So, excellent, excellent. Um, who's your favorite college football team and also your favorite NFL football team? 
uh, college-wise, don't call me a bandwagon now, but uh, I'm a Bama fan. And uh, in the NFL, I wouldn't – I'm going to say the Packers because my grandpa likes the Packers. So. Okay, excellent. Well, m- most days kids – your age don't have a favorite team they just have favorite players on a bunch of different teams so definitely understand but you know the, it's in the in the family your, your grandfather was a Packers fan so brings it down to you that's that's great um do you have any pre-game superstitions that you have to do before the game or else you feel like you won't have a good game no this is weird though um I've wore the same shoes every game for the past two years. I, I don't do it on purpose. It's just something I do. Something you do. It's something that you are. You just most comfortable in it, or is it just? Did you have a great game last year, and you're like, oh, I like these shoes. <laughs> I don't know. They're comfortable, and they have red on them, so they go with our colors, I guess. Okay, excellent. Um, what's what's on Braden's? pre-game playlist depends on the day <laughs> i listen to pretty much everything so depending on the day i don't know it could be anything anything like what give us some like last uh, week you had, a, you had a pretty good game so what did you listen to last week last week i was listening to king vaughn dang i almost want to go look right now i can't think of anything <laughs> Excellent. Um, and another question. Are you are you one of those? Are you a swag guy that want to get dressed up, look good with the towel hanging out, the, the wristbands up to your elbows? Or are you just a blue collar guy? Just want to, you know, don't care how you look. You just want to play. Well, one, I'm not allowed to wear sleeves, so I don't wear anything on my arms. Whose rule is that, that you can't wear sleeves? My dad just told me that since I was young where I play running back. Tell me now. Back. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so the most I'll wear is like some high socks or some tights or something. Um, you know, you guys are having a pretty successful season this year. Um, through everything that's going on, you guys stumbled out the, the blocks at the beginning of the year with, with your first game. You've been able to rattle off um, you know, six straight wins. How do you how do you guys stay motivated as players when you're in the locker room? You're talking amongst yourselves and you know, you know a game's coming up and the team is not quite at your level. It's quite as competitive you guys. How do you stay motivated, you know, throughout the week? A state championship. We all want to win a state championship. So that just drives us to just compete anytime we can step out on the field. Um, So, yeah, state championship is what motivates all of us. Yeah, you know, state championship is it's something that, you know, you definitely – you know, if you win that, take with you the rest of your life. And uh, it's something that great that the community can celebrate. Um, so what does mean, what does uh, being a Titan in the community mean? Uh, how does the community support and surround you guys as players? Oh, this, the community's great. Uh, see, this year is not a good example, but if you would have went to a game last year, the games are full of the people through, from throughout the community. Uh, so they support us a lot. And just out when we're in the community, it's um, just holding yourself to a higher standard because you're not just representing yourself. You're representing your teammates and your coaches and your team. So, Do you plan – Do you? is it a dream of yours? Do you have aspirations to play football at the next level? Most definitely. And what, where will be your dream school to play at? Once I have a dream school, just I want to get there as long as I get there. And what do you want to study when you get there? Uh, engineering. Uh, I'm thinking about doing civil engineering when I get to college. Studying that. Good stuff, man. Well, Braden, thank you for taking the time and joining us. Uh, we really appreciate it. Uh, you guys are on the roll. Um, keep representing uh, your community. Keep representing your families. Keep representing yourselves. And, uh, you know, go on, finish the season strong and uh, head into the playoffs and finish that strong. And hopefully we'll be we'll circle back and catch up to you and you have a state championship ring on your finger. Yes, sir. All right, Braden, thank you. Take care. Yeah.